एक्स्ट्रा टाइम hit the subscribe option and the bell icon to get all the exclusive sports videos on extra time i think um closely i've been watching uh indian cricket for some time um as i've just mentioned of more or less watch kl rahul for example who's a major threat to to pakistan grow up as a boy seeing his struggles with with test matches versus you know his dominance in in the shorter formats of the game do ghante mein delivery wish you a speedy recovery koi bhi dawa ab nahi karo miss dawai chahiye asap to bas ek apollo 247 deliver kare aapki puri prescription sirf 2 ghanton mein the mood is high the relationships within the team are strong players seem very happy very relaxed in spite of the obvious pressures in particular the pressures starting with our first match um the camp is strong and solid and feels good and it's a great privilege to be a part of it you have been part of uh, ashes the one of the greatest rivalries in the cricketing world how how would you compare this rivalry between india and pakistan and the ashes mm-hmm. and the kind of pressure uh, it brings on the players on both sides true 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 and accurate comment that that for for australia it's england as as the as the old guard as they would say um i mean you could argue that england versus anyone considering that at various stages we've been ruled by the kingdom of of in of the UK um and cricket wouldn't be on our shores if it hadn't been for that um but nothing also um that I've ever seen throughout various elements of of the game that I've been a part of ever matches the rivalry between India and Pakistan and so yes there is an obvious pressure as there is an obvious pressure playing against England if you're Australia, an Australian the pressure though is only as much as what you allow it to be and all that can can be done is is done your preparation is there your experience is there your opportunity now is becomes a very a history making opportunity um we can present all the stats we can do all of our homework and research but nothing can replace what will be the stat that we all write about that we all dream about that we all coach about or commentate on um which will be the event itself so i sense that our players are ready for that opportunity and and i sense that there is a calmness around our group that uh what are they doing they want us to be a, a, a successful competitor on the day so all that is done is done and and now it's just the opportunity of playing the game how much the chances you uh, you are staying about pakistan victory against india especially after watching the warm warm matches of both the teams yes i think um closely i've been watching uh indian cricket for some time um as i've just mentioned of more or less watch kl rahul for example who's a major threat to to pakistan grow up as a boy seeing his struggles with with test matches versus you know his dominance in in the shorter formats of the game um seeing someone like rishabh pant with his cheeky smile and his and his brash nature and his beautiful vision for the game watching how he's um, destroyed bowling attacks um because he's got that opportunity and sees it that way so yes i i think you know individually i think um th- there's always th- it's always fantastic to see how players perform in a pressure match and this camp has got uh, some wonderful uh assets that that will perform on the day that are ready to perform on the day if, if you look at the way that even fucko has gone about his preparations for this this match not to single him out but you know to look at the way that he has extended himself 
in the two warm-up matches, it's exciting to think that that can happen, you know, come a few days' time versus India. Baba two and, and Rizwan, the top three, I think, are, you know, such a critical part of performance here in the UAE. Generally speaking, when the power players have been, you know, such a significant part of, of T20 cricket in the UAE and uh, there have been a few exceptions, but most sides that win the power play win the match. And you don't necessarily win the power play um, by being overly aggressive. So I think that we have a very strong batting combination, um, including Hafiz as well, um, inside that knowledge and that wisdom and that ability to be able to, to build uh, and, and create opportunities at the top of the order um, is certainly from a batting sense our strength. Big totals here are never going to be uh, achieved. You know, the two 200-plus totals, I feel, are going to be... It would take something extraordinary on the day um, for that to happen. So average scores roughly, you know, Sharjah 170. Uh, sorry, uh, Abu Dhabi 170, Sharjah 150. And here in uh, Dubai, that 170 potentially is, is kind of like what we're looking at. So we're not talking about tens and over from the start of play. So I do think that we've got a very, very balanced and strong batting lineup. Uh, how you see the role of uh, Babar Azam and Shaheen Afeti in this uh, World Cup? Uh, key roles. Um, we saw last night um, Shaheen Afeti bowled the uh, penultimate over in T20 cricket. He bowled the 19th over it. And he got hit for two fours. Uh, one, one was a streaky four. You know, it was a it was a slog shot that got an inside edge and and beat Rizwan, um, and I think it went for eight or nine over uh, and over. But it was a very very strong performance. So that nineteenth over in T Twenty cricket and the twentieth over is such a key part of uh, the bowling unit. Um, and Bub obviously, um, you know, has has his own role to play, not only in terms of of leadership, because as you've seen through the IPL, the two dominant captains uh, here in the UAE, MS Dhoni, World Cup winner, and Owen Morgan, World Cup winner, even though their individual performances weren't as good as what um, they, they, uh, they have previously done within their own statistical record, but the way that they led their troops and conducted themselves is an important part of of the UAE because, as I mentioned, it's not one side's not necessarily going to run away with it here. It's a real dogfight. The conditions and the margins for errors are very little, and and so and so good leadership is going to be key. And I think Baba has that that commands that presence and he commands that role, and and he needs to fulfil that role. Um, on a batting sense as well, he he I think is the is the premium player. He will be targeted. Um, he will be. He will also be the person that everyone is wanting to to, um, as Christopher Gale says, put in his pocket. Um, and so, yes, there's there's going to be additional pressure on him, both as a captain and also as a batsman. But I sense that the way that he goes about it is is going to be spot on. This is extra time. Extra time.